Hey yoga teachers, Rena Ren here. Welcome to prenatal yoga teaching tips and tutorials. Today I'm excited because we're looking at squat pose, mamasana pose for prenatal yoga. So many options, so hang in here with me today. This posture can be so good for the prenatal student with a few caveats, but so good for releasing tension in the low back and hips and even the ankles and really preparing, helping prepare the body for childbirth. So good for the pelvis, uh, great uh, for abduction of the thighs and hips and can't say enough good things about it. So let's jump right in. Quite a few things today. So for the first option, we'll look at just sitting on a block. So I'll put it here and then just coming down. Now you would have talked to your students beforehand to know if they had knee issues or anything like that. Something really important with squat is to know these things beforehand so that you can offer the options kind of going down toward the floor, but you know your students better than, better than anyone. So here, this is an option here. Sometimes even just leaning a little bit back feels good. Um, and walking the feet out. So you could have them come down, sit, walk the feet out, and really getting into the inner thighs and opening up the hips and pelvis here. That is one option. You could do the same thing on the bolster, just sitting on the bolster. You could even do two bolsters. I have a lot of students who like to do that. Not even prenatal students, just students in general. Um, Knee issues can be a contraindication. So as we go throughout here, you'll see the different options that we have for elevating this even higher. One thing that I see a lot of, especially with prenatal students, is that they haven't practiced yoga a lot and for whatever reason, haven't worked on the flexibility in the ankles. So having the blanket underneath the heels is great because it makes, it allows for their ankles to be less flexible. So coming wide and then exhaling coming down, reaching for the floor, and then coming into a version, something like this. And remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This, could, this is just, the function of this is to relieve pain in the back and really get that idea going of preparing the pelvis and the hips for birth. Another one that you could do there, especially with knee issues or pain, is just to have it behind the knees. And some even like to have the heels elevated and have it behind the knees. So that is totally up to your student. So that's another one. Then from there, let's look at a couple here and then uh, we'll maybe look at some on the, on the floor. So stability ball, you know I'm a huge fan. So coming and sitting and this is great. So like if you have someone who has any kind of issues where they shouldn't be abducting the legs that far or that there's just any kind of pressure or feeling of, of uh, pulling down in the pelvic floor. So pelvic girdle pain, round ligament pain, varicose veins even might, might feel better to sit here. Hemorrhoids for sure. Sitting here just kind of feels like sitting on a cloud. Placenta previa, any kind of cervical concerns. So I know that I threw a lot at you right there, but these are things that your prenatal students will know if they have their their medical provider would have or health provider would have let them know and then if you continue to watch these videos you'll get more information on those as we go but pretty much any indication that they shouldn't be squatting really deep or having any of that pulling down kind of pressure so you're just you're just here you could even lean have them lean forward a lot of length in the spine here so this is a great option Shoulders are down, have them sit up nice and tall, and then you could even work back and forth, back and forth. Just remember that those pregnancy hormones do create kind of a false sense of flexibility that isn't really there. It's just sort of there temporarily, so we want to avoid overstretching. So not going past where they normally would, and just using um, conversation with the student to help make sure new students kind of know where that edge is. Then coming up, hands press here right into the quadriceps right above the knees and come forward. And then another one very similar that you can do is sitting in the chair. Same thing. You're gonna sit down and then you're more like in a version of goddess here. Okay, 
And then you could also do that forward and back. It's a lot of length in the spine. You could even do a little bit of shoulder um, stretching here as well, dipping the shoulders in and shoulders go down. So that's that one. And there are a couple more, so hang in here with me. I'm going to do this one facing the window because the wall option here isn't great. So you have them come into basically legs up the wall. And we'll talk in a moment about if you have students who aren't comfortable lying on the back because of everything coming this way. But basically you're here, this is the wall. Bend one knee, bend the other knee, start here. And then just start having the knees come further apart and then maybe bring the heels down. And then this is a really great way to access some sensation around that hip joint that you can't really get from a regular squat because your back's not, you're not taking gravity out of it this way. And this is, this is so nice. So many of my yin yoga students love this as well. So this is a great option. And then making sure that they're rolling to the side as evenly in the hips as possible and pressing slowly to come up. Another one that I really, really love, especially for if you're doing, if you're offering legs at the wall, but you have people that are kind of at that point where they really don't want to be on their back anymore. And, you know, we hear a lot of talk in the prenatal world about um, lying flat on your back isn't good for prenatal yoga. You can do left lying or elevate the right side a bit. But what I find is that when they reach the point where that's not comfortable, that's really the cue. So coming here, then you want to have two blocks or another bolster available. Then you have them sit right at the base of their toe, bone right at the back of the, of the bolster. And this could even be elevated higher. This could be on a, on a higher, could be more like this. And then have the blocks ready for them. So maybe like here. Then lean back, and this really opens up the chest as well. And then feet can go here. And that gives a really nice option. They're not having to hold their legs or pull their legs here. Other things that you could do would be half happy baby or full happy baby. I have videos on those for you as well. One of my favorite things that we do as an alternative to squat is reclined Buddha or Vishnu's couch. If you haven't watched that video, definitely go check that one out. I hope this has been helpful for you today. Have an awesome day and I'll see you soon.